welcome, welcome, welcome to 15minute.church where we love God and we love others as we love ourselves. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad you're here. Well, today we have a tidbit message, another tidbit. It's a short one. And this one's entitled The Gold Effect. Oh, yeah. G O L D, Gold Effect. So let's jump right into it. Amen. Well, you know, according to the World Gold Council, up until 2009, only about 165,000 metric tons of gold have been mined. And that's in all of human history. Amen. The amount of gold, if consolidated, it would fit into a cube. You know, not much wider than you know, a ranch style house and not much taller than a six story building. But yet, its total value in the modern market would exceed $5 trillion. Amen. Few things, few things hold their value over time like gold. This is due to the fact that gold is not only very rare, but it's also a very useful metal. Amen. From jewelry to electronics, the unique qualities of gold cause it to be in constant demand. Rarity and usefulness combine to give gold its lasting value. Now let me say this, there are two things that add value to a person's life and they happen to be the same things that add value to gold. Let me say this again, there are two things that add value to a person's life and they happen to be the same things that add value to gold. Now let me tell you what they are. Their helpfulness and their rarity. I'll say that again. Their helpfulness and their rarity. You see, these qualities combine to make the child of God invaluable to the world. Self-serving, self-consumed people are of little value to others or for the purpose of God. They're so common. Very common, self-serving and self-consumed people. They everywhere. But see, God has called us and set us apart to be a special people. Amen? So why would we want to be common when we could be rare? Why be abundant when you could be scarce? Huh? Why be ancient when you could be modern? Why be apart when you could be together? Why be captive? When you could be free. Why be empty when you could be full of God's grace and love? Amen. You see, God has also commissioned us to share his love with the world. So why live for yourself when you can live for God? Those who live for God are more helpful and more rare. They make themselves priceless. You see, in Deuteronomy 14.2, it says, you have been set apart as holy to the Lord, your God, and he has chosen you, yes you, from all the nations of the earth to be his own special treasure. Praise God, hallelujah, this is Pastor C. Praise God.